For many of us that grew up in modest households in Africa, 2005-2015 was a period of hope. You see, over 40 countries in Sub-Saharan Africa had committed to making agriculture work for smallholder farmers. And countries like Ethiopia, Ghana, Rwanda, Burkina Faso started posting agricultural growth of about 8%. We thought that Africa had finally found a path to increase agricultural growth and that many more would follow and reduce hunger and poverty. We did not see climate change coming. We did not expect the reversal of hard won gains. Planting seasons changed. For a continent that depends on rainfall, productivity gains for smallholder farmers shrunk, and centuries of traditional knowledge of agricultural systems started getting eroded. I was Minister of Agriculture in Rwanda. I saw efforts to get African farmers access to the world's best improved seed and other inputs, leave farmers and governments more indebted rather than increase productivity, validating the notion that farmers won't shock away from poverty. The fact that we are coming together to make this commitment is a welcome move that many of us that have lived the pride of Africa's farmers welcome and support. The stakes have never been higher. African countries have committed to adaptation frameworks. At Agra, we will build on these efforts to strengthen adaptation of farming communities. We commit to strengthen collaboration and scale innovation to deliver the most effective results and international partnership. We will build on the work of the Global Commission on Adaptation to deliver tangible solutions to climate change for African farmers. I ask each of you to commit to this call for the time is now.